the Chief of Army Staff, Major General Farouk Yahaya, on Wednesday visited Owari, the Imo state, saying he came for an on-the-spot assessment of the security situation of the state. Yahaya, who met with troops of the 34th Brigade in Obinze Barracks, Oweri urged them to be dodged and decisive against the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, which he said was disturbing the peace of the state. According to a release by the Director of Army Public Relations, Brigadier General Onyema Nwachuku, the Army Chief lauded the residents of troops of the 34th Brigade and operatives of other security agencies in turn on the tide of the recent spate of insecurity that resulted from the criminal activities of the group IPOB in the state. He said, General Yahaya made the commendation today at Obinze Barracks, Oweri, Imo State, while addressing the troops during his maiden operational visit to the headquarters of the 34 Brigade. He told the troops that his visit was informed by the need to have an on-the-spot assessment of the security situation in the state. The chief of army staff expressed delight on the successes so far recorded by the troops and urged them to redouble their efforts in order to consolidate on their successes. General Yahaya further charged them to be loyal and exhibit high sense of duty at all times. He pointed out that more successes would be recorded through compliance to instructions and loyalty to superior authority. The chief of air staff, sorry, the chief of army staff also called on the officers to always lead by example and ensure that troops are adequately briefed and kept abreast of the mission at hand. In a show of synergy, the Chief of Army Staff also paid a visit to troops of the 211 Response Group, Nigerian Air Force, Oweri, where he implored the troops to be professional and alert at all times. He appreciated them for their spirit of jointness and synergy towards tackling insecurity in the state. Highlight of the working tour was the Chief of Army Staff's visit to the proposed military hospital Oweri and a tour of the Obinze barracks. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The new Chief of Army Staff, who has just been recently confirmed by the Nigerian Senate, has visited Imo State. He's been in the southeast for the last few days. I think he was in Enugu and now he has gone to Imo. It is yet to be seen if he would actually visit other states, other southeastern states in the country. Well, what are your thoughts? It is sad to know that they are still waging war against the indigenous people of Biafra and the Eastern Security Network and the Southeast as a whole, while the North continues to suffer in the hands of kidnappers and bandit, bandits attackers who have continued to kidnap people and carry out all sorts of evil in the country. Well, it remains to be seen what the army in a whole or what the leadership of the army will be doing concerning this particular history as it were. Promising to send more equipment and troops to them to take the war to the IPOB members leaves you with the thinking or with the knowledge as to the reason why they are actually against the people in the southeast all because of IPOB and Eastern Security Network. What a country in other countries of the world military jobs was to face external forces but in Nigeria the story is completely different. Anyways, his predecessors did the same in the end. What was the result, says Ozioma Chuku. Well, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things will unfold. Ugo Blessed Isaac says everyone comes to the East to test their muzzle. Igbo has become a testing ground for everyone, poor Igbos. 
we have we shall never forgive this set of politicians these people have sold us out completely he concluded clara almost says nigeria nation is a joke if this news is genuine that this is the more reason the country called nigeria should end now it is high time the united nations and those that amalgamated the north and the southern nigeria dissolved this forced marriage Imagine security agencies redoubling tactics to fight people that doesn't pose threat to civilians and yet fail to employ single tactics to fight bandits and headsmen displacing rightful innocent civilians from their homes. Well, it is what it is. You should channel that energy to the northeastern Nigeria where bandits and Boko Haram are on the loose. After the initial gragra, you will come down. We are proud dot nation. Idam Abiyokoro says, Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? One would expect that the chief of army staff would concentrate on the threats that is being posed by the northerners, especially in the northeastern part of the country, rather than focusing on the people in the southeast but i think this shows how the president has actually uh you know rates things from the look of things the red flag is on the southeastern part of the country instead of the northeast part of the country and probably that is why the chief of army staff is actually taking it upon himself to visit the southeastern states because they consider the Southeast a serious threat to the people. But however, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. Does the Southeast pose any threat to the Nigerian army or the government of Nigeria as it were? Apart from the call for secession, which is not only the Southeast that is actually in this business for secession, the Southwest are elite as well, and they have been taking rallies to st various states across the country. So the, the challenge for me here is that why abandon the Northeast and uh, focus and channel all strength and energy to the Southwest? Something definitely is wrong somewhere. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Please drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.